Good morning. Our devotion this morning is taken from Psalms 46, focusing on verse 10 to 11. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Joel Ryan in Perspectives off the page states, these are popular verses used to encourage believers to be still and silent before the Lord, which promotes a healthy rest in the presence of the Lord. Most commentaries suggest that the writer of Psalms 46 is probably living through a time of war, conflict, or at the very least, personal strife. It is also possible that Israel itself was facing war or international conflict when this was written, and that the songwriter wrote to encourage the children of Israel to stand in the strength of the Lord. Throughout the chapter, the writer emphasizes that the Lord is their refuge and strength and their stronghold. Who is God telling to be still? There are several interpretations and theories regarding the subject of God's address. Some say that the Lord was addressing Israel's enemies. If we accept this, he would essentially be telling them to cease striving, or in this case, stop fighting his chosen people. In communicating to Israel's enemies, he would also may be making his presence known across the earth. As true to prophecy, one day, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Another way to read this verse will be to stop fighting and see that I have chosen Israel as my people. I will stand by them and defend them against all enemies, including you. So back off. I am the Lord. I am powerful. I am in charge. And I will be exalted. The second interpretation, which is probably more accurate, sees God addressing the children of Israel, his chosen people, directly. He is not just telling them to be still or rest during a time of war, which it most likely is. God is commanding them to start fighting, cease striving, and open their eyes to who he is. It's easy to be fearful when things are going well, or when we are faced with challenges and conflicts in our life, which most times are unexpected. In the midst of our struggle, however, God is telling his people to wake up and recognize who's on their side. God is telling us, stop striving, stop fighting, stop trying to do things on your own. Stop stressing about the battle ahead and trust me, wake up, I am the Lord. I am your refuge and your strength. You have nothing to fear or worry about when I am with you. I will fight your battles and deal with your enemies. So get out of my way. Step back and acknowledge who I am and what I can do. Let me be God. Don't try and do my job for me. Be patient, be still, and let me go to work. Psalms 46 10 would have been an encouragement to the children of Israel in a time of war and can be just as comforting to believers today in their struggles and strife. In the midst of conflict and life turmoil, sometimes we just need to stop what we're doing Take a step back and acknowledge who God is and what he can do. Doing so provides comfort in the chaos and an unexplainable peace in the midst of our struggles. God is in control. Let go and let God do his work.